I'm going to show you a little technique that I use for putting the fill coat over the seams. This is a small job, only about 120 linear feet of seams to tape. I don't feel like bringing any boxes, so I'm going to basically be hand taping, but I'm going to try and do a little uh, faster way to do it. And what I have here is a <coughs> paint roller with a three quarter inch snap roller. And I've thinned my joint compound down. So I'm just going to dip it in there. And that's what I'm going to use to apply the compound over this seam. It's a nine inch roller. It's going to put on a nine inch wide layer of compound. Here's the compound applied with a roller. You can see relative thickness and it's a nine inch wide band of joint compound. Thin down just a little bit, uh, but notice it's not so thin that it's dripping all over the floor. Just gonna roll it right on that seam. That's about the thickness I want, I believe. It's uh, not too thin, because if it's too thin, I'm gonna have a hard time smoothing it out. The reason I'm doing this is I'm trying to put it on nice and quickly and uniformly. Um, keep in mind, this is simply putting the joint compound on this seam. The tools I'm gonna to use to smooth it out are the same tools I would use if I was applying the joint compound with a taping knife. And what I'm, what I'm using is the 14 inch curve trowel. 14 inches long, four and a half inches wide. It has a slight indentation, so it's a concave tool. And because my goal here is to fill the recess, keep the edges feathered out, and but just leave a slight crown. So this tool will work great for that. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually smoothing out the top edge, beveling, smoothing that in nice and tight. Now I'm doing the same on the bottom edge, smoothing that in nice and tight. Now I'm just going to take my trowel and pull it over that seam. Now that, that's looking really good. I'm very happy with that. One little trick I like to tell people when you're coating seams is you don't want to leave a concave seam, but you also don't want to leave a ridge. But I do want to actually slightly ridged though, because this is going to shrink and it's going to be sanded a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trowel and just press it over the seam. And I can see that I've got a slight indentation. That's almost, ex that actually is exactly what I want. So you can really see I'm using the roller to apply the joint compound rather than doing it with a taping knife or a trowel on a hawk. Is be, I'm doing that because it's fast and it's easy.